CEO Scott Moore has officially removed Prince Harry as the patron of the Invictus Games, signaling a significant shift in leadership that many veterans are celebrating. This decision comes amid growing dissatisfaction with how Harry was perceived to be using the games for personal and financial gain through media pursuits, primarily influenced by him and Meghan Markle's actions in the U.S. The root cause of this upheaval traces back to a fundamental clash between Prince Harry and the Invict Games Foundation. While he advocated for reprioritizing things especially during times like these, when there is global crisis, Scott Moore remained steadfastly committed to adhering strictly to mission statement. This divergence culminated in a pivotal phone call, where his request ultimately got rejected leading issues now arising from differences ranging from reducing commitment levels right down having only social engagements, which put off foreign investors, even though it had begun improving prior Mike Tyndall, who happens not just have an experienced background, but also related via marriage connection became appointed spokesperson thereby refreshing aim and integrity thus restoring values within its purpose while ties closely aligned again bring fresh energy supporting transparency some supporters believe removing hrh would negatively affect charitable endeavors associated without invicus undermining popularity whereas proponent agrees continuity and stability required organization compromised moves done so far at high level capacities better left remain unchanged albeit despite controversy given Situation risk everything fail taking such steps vital long-term goals restoration probably. Guaranteed finally establishment foundation's first priority lies utmost sincerity towards devoted public fans.